John 19:18 Hapu autan estaurosan kai met autu alus dua entuthen kai entuthen meson de ton yesun so right before this we read about Jesus carrying the crossbar out to where he'll be crucified to Golgotha the place of the skull where they crucified him Estaurosan, that is from the verb staurao, we've seen that several times recently, means to crucify. Notice what we have here. We have an augment, we have a sigma alpha. This is going to be an aorist active indicative. It's third person plural, referring, of course, to the Roman soldiers within context. And here is the direct object, alton, where, right, referring back to Golgotha, or the place of the skull, where they crucified him. And with him, remember when meta, the preposition meta means with, it's followed by the genitive. If it's followed by the accusative, it means after. But here it's followed by the by the genitive. And when it begins with a vowel, meta becomes met. Or if it, if it were a vowel with a rough breathing mark, it would be met. So, and with him, two others. And if we didn't have any context, we might translate this from here and from here, or from here and from there. But obviously in the context, it means one on either side, right? There were two others crucified with him one on either side, and then there's this uh, verb, they crucified, right here, there's a bit of an ellipsis, and the idea is repeated here at the end, and they crucified Jesus in the middle. I mean, we could, I think we could just sort of imply it in English as well, it wouldn't make a big difference, and Jesus in the middle. That meson is from the adjective mesos, which means middle, but the neuter accusative singular, I think that's probably the best way to understand this, not, a, not as an adjective modifying Jesus, but as the neuter accusative singular form used adverbially, meaning in the middle. And they crucified, and then here's the direct object of the implied verb crucified, and they crucified Jesus in the middle.